I have some really cool news for those who are interested in upscaling or lossless scaling because frame generation with lossless scaling is now going to be available for Linux. Although there is, it's still in the working progress. It's, it's not necessarily available for everyone, but this is very exciting news because even though it's in the early stages, there's a lot of fast progress being made. And for those who don't know, lossless scaling is a paid tool on Windows that enables both upscaling and frame generation. It operates on the system level rather than a driver-based solution or as a game mod. And this is a standalone software that does not need DLSS or FSR to work. And they're also working on adding more GPU support to the project. But now though, there's an open source project called LSFG-VK and the paid lossless scaling tool now has Linux support thanks to it. Now, like I said, this is the early stages, but it is making fast progress. For example, it only took four days from the original release for them to upgrade support to LSFG version 3.1. Lossless scaling is also useful for upscaling modern games if you cannot run them on native screen resolutions. So like if you have a, a limited GPU, for example, and wanna get rid of blur due to bilinear scaling, of the GPU driver, as well as for upscaling older and pixel art games, which do not support modern screen resolutions or full screen mode. You can use it to help with those as well. I think this is awesome to see because lossless scaling is a very cool project and being only Windows related, it wasn't that important to me before, but now that there's being a support for Linux being added, that is very awesome uh, because the upscaling aspects of these kinds of things is very cool because it's not just uh, dependent on a particular hardware. Like for example, FSR is for AMD users. DLSS is for NVIDIA users. And this doesn't really care about either one of those. So it can work on all, both and also perhaps more GPUs in the future. So this is really cool to see. And I'm excited to see how far they can push this support on Linux.